Hey, this is TJ from TJOnTheRoad.com coming to you again about the Kemper Rig Manager version 3.0 beta. This is the second part of the series. Had a little time with this. I read the bleeping manual, uh, which I didn't have a chance to do yesterday, and learned a lot about it. And there's some cool new features that I just wanted to show you uh, that I wasn't able to see uh, as of yesterday. I also found a couple bugs. Uh, I'm sure Kemper will work those out quickly. So let's just dive in here. All right here, I obviously have the uh, rig manager with the editor here. Okay, so if we uh, select a rig, the Mez Fillmore 50, say here. Okay, that brings that up here. All right, now there are a lot of uh, click and hold and drag, uh, drag and drop type functions here. Uh, for example, you can take a... Uh, effects preset and you can move it to a different slot back and forth so that's pretty cool now if you don't want the uh, green screen in there and you want to uh, find a different effect okay whoops you can go over here to your local uh, profile here library over on this side and you might want to uh, sort the categories and let's say I want a wall there instead okay so this wall I call the two touch and I can slide that in there, and now I have a Wawa effect in there, so that's really cool. Uh, also, you can do the same for amplifiers and for cabinets. Uh, so let's say we got the category here. I'll sort those up here, okay? So let's say I want to change the amplifier to a different amplifier, say this Mars one. I guess that's a Marshall. I can change that in here. If I want to change the cabinet to a greenback, can move that in here so that's really awesome it lets you do all that kind of stuff uh, sometimes it seems though that it might be easier to do things when you actually open a second window so we're going to open another window here and when you open a window uh, it allows you to move around the screen but still stay where you are uh, as before say you want it to be back in here Okay, oops, not that one, that one. Uh, the Fillmore, excuse me, there we go. And say you wanna be on this screen here, you wanna see the tags here, but you want another window uh, to actually you know, drag and drop things that you wanna bring in there. So that's a good way to do so. That's especially handy uh, when you wanna work in performances. Okay, so if you wanna create a new performance, let's say here, Here's a new performance that I wanted to uh, create. Uh, we're going to open that window back up. Okay, and let's just say, for example, I want to put this Marshall in slot one. So we'll take this one here. I'll put that there. And let's just say for uh, slot two, I want a Carol Ann amp. Slide that all in here. And then for slot three, I want a fender. Okay, so it's much easier just to do that because if you try not to do it over here, it'll take you off the screen uh, for the performances. So let me show you that. If you try to do that over here, well, it's just gonna take you off that screen. So you need the second page in order, uh, the second window in order to do that. So uh, let's go back to that one that I was working on. There we go. Okay, and then for each individual one, you can make changes as I had shown before, uh, and then you can uh, store. Now I have found there is a bug here. Uh, whenever I try to store to the profile profiler, it locks up my profiler. So I'm not gonna do that now. All right, I just wanted to uh, show you some uh, keyboard shortcuts here. Now you won't obviously see me using the keyboard, but I'll just explain. If you wanna select one of these uh, effects in the chain or the amp in the cab. Well, let's say for example, you want to select the cab Just hit C on your computer on your computer keyboard and you can go that a is for the amp Numbers one through eight are the different effect slots. So number one is the compressor Okay two three four five six seven eight Okay, through so all of those uh, Let's go back to the amplifier Okay, if you want to uh, set up a morph, okay, what you need to do is hit command on a Mac computer or 
uh, control on a Windows computer, and you just hit the the gain here, say for example, and you'll see you'll be able to set up a morph. Okay, now you can go back to the input, uh, excuse me, the rig, not the input, and you can set the rise time. So I'm going to set this for a long time. Say quarter, quarter note. And let's say half, just for an example. Okay, and we'll go back to the amplifier. And if I hit M, you're going to see this move here. And hit M again on the keyboard. So you can actually do the morph right in Rig Manager. So that's very, very cool. Okay, also uh, you can course uh, adjust or you can find adjust by either, say for example, the treble here. If you just want to course adjust, obviously you just move it. But if you want a finer adjustment, just hold down the shift key and it'll move much slower for a fine adjustment. All right, there's a whole set of keyboard shortcuts that are in the manual. So as I always tell people, read the bleeping manual, because uh, I always try to. I wish I had done so uh, before I'd done the video yesterday, but I just wanted to make sure we get it out uh, so you get, folks get a chance to take a look at it. So this is just the end of this video here. I just wanted to uh, add some things uh, to my comments yesterday. I think this is awesome. I really do think uh, that Kepler's done a great job, and I want to thank him for doing so. I um, do want to mention a couple bugs, though. Uh, they previously mentioned saved uh, for performances. Don't want to try to do that again because it locked up my Kepler uh, two or three times. Also, I noticed this other bug you'll see here. Uh, this pack, the three uh, Mez 3 Crown 50, is supposed to have 72. Well, when I click it, there's nothing in there. Uh, so, uh, fortunately, I had this all backed up offline of the rig manager, so I'm not worried about it. Uh, but if you don't back things up, uh, you may have a problem uh, getting to you some of your rigs. Uh, this happens to you. But I'm sure they'll fix these things really, really fast and uh, be able to get a very stable version. It is very stable uh, right now, I think, and it's a great release, uh, especially for a beta. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to this channel. Please check out my uh, website, tjontheroad.com, and thank you so much for your support.